Jude Taylor, Staffordshire County Council. Ben Smith, West Suffolk. Matt Reeks, Christchurch and East Dorset Partnership. Angela Glitherow, Derbyshire County Council. This is the end of a six month journey. We've had five grueling challenges at authorities across the country and we now have four finalists. They've got their own exhibition stands, they're putting forward their ideas for the project proposal and they need to win votes. They've then got to go in front of a panel of judges and present their um, project proposals. My idea is Thinking Gafford, a sustainable, community-led, physical activity intervention designed to reduce the incidence of vascular dementia. My idea is to research and implement a collective impact pilot in West Suffolk. The pilot project will be focused on homelessness prevention for adults with mental health problems. My idea is to create a toolkit for local authorities to allow new residents to work together and have their say to create their space and their community. My project is Champions for Change, which is a practical toolkit to deliver change across the public sector. It will be available as a flexible resource to help deliver any change on any issue where people's hearts and minds need to be challenged and changed. What's up for grabs today is a £10,000 scholarship, the Bruce Lockhart Scholarship Fund. Um, if they win that, they get to implement their project back in their council, for their council and their communities, and hopefully replicate it so it can be rolled out across the country and for other councils to learn from it. So, so are you grabbing the community before they buy or as they buy? Okay. Or as they... I'm very impressed with the time that these guys have put aside. You know, they've got their day jobs, which are you know, very busy nowadays, but they've actually put the time aside to do this to benefit the future for everybody. So, so directly on we already know we work with through our adult social services department. We councillors often are so possessed with the daily grind of trying to run the council that we don't take the necessary lateral thinking that they have done. We can probably get more resources in social services to help these people. What it does do is give people an opportunity to try new things and hopefully spread that good practice throughout local government. Vascular dementia, you can reduce your risk by up to 50% by being physically active. Yes. Everybody's a winner, uh, and I think uh, whoever's got involved in this, whether they've got through to, to finalists or not, they're all winners, I think. There's some really good ideas on there, same as in previous years. It's great to see uh, young, quite switched on people in the sector actually coming up with some brand new stuff for us to be considering. So, yeah, the challenge is a great idea. So this is the end of uh, LG Challenge 2015. Um, and it's been a fantastic year with fantastic contestants, but we're already looking forward to 2016, seeing what talent is out there, and you never know, it could be you. It's been really good fun. It's been completely career changing for me. Do it, it's worth every ounce of the effort you're putting. I've probably not done anything better in my career.